hi guys today I'm gonna show you how to bleed your brake system for that you need a long petrol pipe 10 size ring spanner some brake fluid and a star screwdriver I would advise you to use a flathead star screwdriver because if you use a sharp tip screwdriver you tend to slip and each time you slip you keep messing up the screw then you'll end up not being able to open the screw or close the screw tightly you can see that I'm not on the stock, stock screws because of that reason only so please use a flat head screwdriver and coming to the main bleeding part there are two types of bleeding one is soft bleeding and the other is complete system uh, brake fluid change so first I'll show you the soft bleeding this is your bleed nipple of the caliper what you do is first place the ring spanner like that then fit the long pipe and make it hang in a higher point and make sure the ending of the pipe is not anywhere close to near any painted objects because it's very corrosive and you'll end up missing your paint job if you don't want to create a mess you can just place a bowl or anything at the end anyway if you are using such a long pipe nothing is gonna fall down suppose you don't get such a long pipe you have short pipe use a bowl at the end now coming how to do the bleeding process pump the brake five times one two three four five and the fifth time press and hold the brake then what you do is with your other hand fastly open and close the bleed nipple since God has given me with only two hands I can't show you guys with the video rolling so I'll have to pause the video for a moment Okay, once you quickly open and close the bleed nipple, you can actually literally see the air bubble coming out. Now you can't see it. When you open and close, you can see the air bubble coming out along with some brake fluid. And as you can see here, your hand will go in immediately. So what we do is, again pump the brake five times. Two, three, four, five. Then again, the same way, open and close the bleed nipple fast. This is uh, what I say. If you have any soft airlock or something, this soft bleeding will help you out. Suppose the airlock is somewhere in between the system, and especially when you have an ABS model, you have a lot of area where the air can go accumulate and you will end up with a soft break that time what you have to do is do a complete bleeding that I will show you next ok if you wanna do full bleeding or suppose you find that the color of the brake fluid is not proper it's somewhat creamish color or whitish that means your brake fluid is spoiled so you have to change the entire uh, system oil and as I said if you have an ABS model you might get air lock in between so you have to do a complete change so for this what you do is you open up the refill cap And as I said, 
use a flathead screwdriver you can see that the screw unlocked without slipping and keep in mind this is a very soft screw so you slip it once also you have problem removing it ok after undoing both the screws you can remove the filler cap and make sure you keep this stuff in a clean environment so now what you do is as done before only you pump then remove and close the blade nipple pump and remove the first name blade nipple in this the difference is that you will keep repeating the procedure until the oil level drops keep doing until the oil level hits the minimum line then what you do is refill again and again start pumping and keep doing the procedure until you are fully bleeded the system or if you have discoloration of the brake fluid until all the dirt and grain goes out keep doing this procedure as you can see I have been continuously doing the procedure until I hit the bottom line don't go beyond the bottom line because you will suck in air through this way then again it's waste of what you have done so far as you can see that the oil is passed through the pipe and it's getting collected down so let's make a refill ok I slipped and poured a bit too much over there What you do is again pump and bleed. Okay, it's good that I poured extra. Pump and bleed until you get the right amount. Then stop doing the procedure and replace your refill cap. And that's it, you have bleeded out your system completely. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it and share it around okay bye bye take care